You feel like going for a ride? Thought you'd never ask. Try not to swallow your tongue. What? Is that a mini car? Oh my god. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war. What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good, man. Good. Uh, I mean, Brian, uh, you've been 15 years on the screen now since your Law & Order debut. You and... <laughs> I love that comes oh, out. Oh, I love it. That's coming up today. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan, you've been, uh, you've been 20 since like, like Frankenstein. So I, I wonder like- Dude, that's a home, deep cut. Did his homework. In these years, I mean, you're both, uh, Dan, you've had a SAG nomination. Brian, you've had, Brian Tyree, you have an Oscar nomination. Did you expect anything to change if, if you reach that level of getting a nomination, is it has it been anything different than what you might have expected? Do we look at each other? <laughs> like, you go. I don't hear no, this. I, I, I don't think so. I, I mean, that's not what I was ever in it for, you know? Right. And those things are, are, are great and they're incredible when they happen. Um, but no, I think I, I still have the same neuroses and anxieties <laughs> I think I had as a, as a 20 year old actor. Fair. Um, I don't know. So those things change for you? Uh, you know what? There are also things that I didn't expect. You know, like, I never got in this to do that. Yeah, you're very aware that some of them are the penultimate, like, you know, pedestals you want to, to achieve sometimes, but you don't do it for that. I think that what it has done is it has given me an opportunity to truly uh, champion myself and actually be like, hey, at the end of the day, this is where you belong, this is what you love to do, which means you also deserve to work with the people that you want to work with, to create the stories that you want to create. Uh, and that's what it's really done for me, is it's put a fire under me to be like, there's so many things that I want to do even more so now, um, including running from a, a, a 300 foot lizard and gorilla. <laughs> it, like that, that to me, is, I feel like what we get to do- It's on the list. It's on the list. It was what, on the we, list. what we get to do, it, truly what we get to do is we get to curate now, I think is, is what's important is curating exactly how the kind of characters we want, inspiring people to make characters with us in mind mm. and being able to go, you know what? No, that doesn't suit me. Actually, I, like I may have been a security parking lot attendant at that point. <laughs> but now I'm like, but maybe I want to own the company. You know what I mean? So like, so you just get to, a, it's just an evolution that comes along and you just got to bank on yourself. I think that's the biggest thing is like, you can still carry that imposter brain from so long ago that keeps playing this old tape and it just doesn't serve anymore. So I think that being a part, look, I remember where I was in 1997 when Godzilla came out and Puffy did come with me and I got that cup from Taco Bell, okay? I remember those days <laughs> and I don't ever want to forget those days. And then I'm like, well, look at look at this now. We get to elevate it in a completely different way and, and that's what's really important to me. That's what's special. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that a mini Kong? How did they find this place? He must have sensed you. Speaking of curation, I mean, now that you guys, guys have spent so much time in Godzilla Times, Kong, and, you know, world, if you could curate a, a buddy movie with, with you two, like, what would it look like? 
We just were talking about we this. Have. So we said that we should make a show following Bernie and Trapper. Just going around the world trying different trying hallucinogenic, different hallucinogenic drugs. drugs while the Titans are taking over. And, and you then can't tell what is real and what is... It becomes like memento, right? Like, it's right. like we're all trying to figure out where we've been based on the tattoos that we've got. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I would watch that, yeah. actually. I would really watch that. I think it would be... And just the backdrop is the Titans fighting. And we're just like, uh, like how do you feel about this, <laughs> psilocybin? Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. It seems It seems legit. All right, so if you could walk up in a rough neighborhood with, and you had to choose between you bring in Godzilla, <laughs> shotgun, or you bring in, you got, or you got King Kong and shotgun, like who are you rolling up into the That's a rough great neighborhood? phrasing of that question. Uh, it's a really good question, too. A rough neighborhood. Kong. It's got to be Kong, man, because Kong, yeah. I don't know, like, Kong just seems about that life, you know what I mean? Like, he just seems like, he really seems like, it seems like Godzilla would have to, like, convince, like, that he belongs there, whereas Kong, as soon as you see Kong coming, you're like, I'm not, I don't want, I don't want any of this smoke whatsoever. I just don't want it. Like, he just feels, he feels more grounded yeah. <laughs> in that way. Well, I can't wait to see the next 15 years, the next 20 years of both of y'all careers. Thank you. Thank you. I keep doing y'all thing. Appreciate Always it. Always Morehouse man out there doing hey! this thing. Hey! So, yeah, man. Awesome. Uh, Always support you guys. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, man.